Here's a nifty light source that you don't see a lot called EL or electroluminescent. And it really is a type of fluorescent light source. And this one's a vintage one made by Sylvania because they, they're the first ones to bring the technology to market. You can see it's very thin. And it's, it's a Sylvania night light, panelescent they called it, but it's electroluminescent. Uh, 0 0.02 watts, so it's very low current consumption. How it's done is simple. You got a reflective surface on the back made of metal connected to one side of the line to one prong. Then you got a phosphor over that. Then you've got a clear overlay which is electrically conductive but light transmissive that's connected to the other prong. Then you got an overall overlay to protect everything. When you plug it in, the phosphor is sandwiched between two layers of conductive material. So when you energize those two plates, so to speak, the phosphor is, is in a field of electricity and the electrons from, from the electricity make the phosphor glow. It's basically the electricity directly makes the phosphor glow. You don't have to convert it to UV radiation. It uses ions from, from the electricity to, to, to knock electrons out of orbit in the phosphor and then when those electrons rejoin the atom of the phosphor they release energy in the form of light. So that's exactly what happens and basically it's a fluorescent source that, that has no ballast. Nowadays it's available in flexible strips. Limelight brand night lights are an EL technology. There's a lot of night lights that use it now. EL was also used to light up white watch faces. Some clock faces have had EL letters that light up when you put current to them. Uh, you know, decorative effects for, for customizing cars now that are 12 volts DC, use EL technology. But really it's just another type of fluorescent technology and it's been with us since the early 60s. That's about when this night light was made. It's vintage and these are actually hard to find. This one still works but it's kind of dim and that's the problem. The phosphors degrade over time and they lose light output.